Hello everyone, welcome back to Lave Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space where I'm to early access, where I am going to pick up from the quick save that I made with the space plane in flight over Lathe and see if I can land it once again. Uh, we have restarted, so hopefully maybe the landing gear is gonna play nice with us this time? I don't know. But here I go. Okay, yes, triumphant music. Right before we go splat. I mean, I'm not saying it's the greatest plane ever. It was able to land fairly softly last time and still broke apart, so that's a worry. Okay, here we go. We know there's enough ground, we just... I don't know if the ground is particularly kind to us, though, in this particular location. I don't see any difference between it and what the previous space plane landed on, though. And there's the rover crashing. Maybe the rover messes us up. Somehow. Okay, well that hop doesn't work. I, I, I'm, I'm pleased that it didn't immediately break apart, but... <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> this isn't helping. Okay, well, obviously. Um, okay, so we'll try again. I felt like that was closer, maybe. But it either bounces or it all breaks apart. Or both. <laughs> maybe I'll just try and assume that we can land much slower than I thought before. Well, I think it sort of looks straight. Maybe, really, I should land further away from the rover, though. Okay, okay. Th those landing gears still look weird, though. Uh-oh, 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 don't do that. Stop wiggling. And don't do anything bad right at the end. Okay, we landed. This is our little pond here. Um, but the landing gear is just weird. Let me see how well it can taxi. I'm gonna try and taxi it back to the rover. We're 2.2 kilometers away. What was that sound? Oh, I think it tried to go in reverse again with those engines. Okay. Look, you don't have auto switch. Stop it. We really need the functionality where Kerbals can explode parts. Come on. Come on, devs. That can't be that hard. Letting the Kerbals explode part. I just want to explode the wing pieces and the swerve engine. Maybe not the wing pieces. What are, what are, I don't know. I think that's attached to the body, but I'm not sure. Maybe not the wing pieces, though. Well, it can taxi on Leif. That's no problem. It's certainly better than a rover. All our rovers should be landing gear plus jet engines. That is what I've learned. At least for Leif. Obviously for things that don't have an air-breathing atmosphere, uh, that would not be good. Okay, well, panels extended. There is one flaw though. Uh, I don't think we need those panels when we have these at the top though. The flaw being that we can't really have the panels extended and the bay open at the same time because of the way the nose goes. Let's see. Um, well, yes, we can have a bunch strung together. But can we really dock them together? Hmm, that's, that seems unlikely almost, but <laughs> uh, anyway, that's something we'll have to figure out later. Okay, so we need to cook up a bunch of stuff 
to deal with things. We might want another one of these here, though it's really hard to land it. Uh, we need something to bring our two station modules together. And we also need something to refuel our space plane that's stranded in orbit of lathe. So we will try and send those things plus other things. Uh, I don't want to have more than two missions at a time active because it's tough to juggle between them without a Kerbal alarm clock. So we'll have to think about that. Let's see if if the rover roves. I mean, let me retract the landing gear and see if it can rove. Okay, it, it's it's ability to rove is is okay right now, but sometimes it does not have very good roving ability. Yes, now it can go full speed and it doesn't need the landing legs. Implement the language use uh, the engine using it. Doesn't the engine already have a language or something? Next plane should have no rover wheels don't go fast enough. Anyway. They seem fickle. I trust the landing gear a little bit more. Okay. So, first thing we need to get to a window to transfer to Jewel again. I think the thing that refuels the space plane and also docks the two station modules together should be the same thing. Or maybe we can launch two separate things on the same deal. We'll have a hub that can dock the two pieces together. But we'll, we'll, this will refuel the space plane as well. So, monopropellant tank. We'll just have static panels. And we'll rely on the existing comms. This part won't have separate comms. The bottom part will. So, we need the smaller docking port on this though. No. Well, this will need as much fuel as possible so it can actually give some to the space plane. After it transfers fuel to the to the space plane, probably okay, we don't really want the clipping like that. Probably this can attach to the station. I'm totally gonna need a nuke disposal team <laughs> and have the Kerbals blow these things up or something. Just too many of them. Too many nukes floating around. It's gotta take a long time to do the burns, but we want to transfer fuel with this, so... Ah, if only we had conical hydrogen tanks. Um, can't have the dish poking out too much. Otherwise we have to reshape the fairing and everything. Burn time. Oh, 7 minutes and 50 seconds. I didn't think... No, that's hardly anything. Well, yeah, that's fine. That's more thrust weight ratio than I thought we had with this. Is it really reading these? <laughs> oh, this is complicated. Okay, so this is probably a lot heavier than the previous versions. I think we should add boosters. Well, that says 1.47 with just the boosters. So, it is sunrise, and let's go. Hey. Okay, pretty slick rocket. Oh no, overheating again? Spare me, Kerbal. Come on! Come on! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it, Kerbal! It took out a docking port. I know it took out a docking port. Okay. Uh, I don't even have to look at the play report, do I? Yeah, Clampatron Senior. Okay, we need those. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll just throw down the core engine. 
we'll just revert to launch and I'll throttle down the core engine so we don't go so fast. The boosters have gimbling anyway. They turn, they tuned down the heating, they said, and the fairings were supposed to be more useful now. They are supposed to protect, protect against that, but the docking ports really, really like to explode. So anyway, we, we have restarted it. I'm just going to throttle down right away. And maybe we should go steeper too, though that's of course less efficient. But then so is throttling down the core engine. Okay, well let's throttle up the main engine and then... Okay, it didn't take out anything important, it's fine. Okay, we'll just coast. Uh, we can get rid of the fairing. Did I not put enough reaction wheel on here? Ooh, that is the cleanest fairing separation I've seen in this game. <laughs> anyway, uh... Oh, oh wait, did I... I, I forgot to put a... Ah, uh, I forgot to put a separate controller on the... on the refueler part. Sorry, sorry. Oh, and we should make sure that these don't do rotation. Because that's an issue, apparently. Or sometimes an issue. Is it just me or is the shading on the fairing weird? Doesn't it look super bright right now? Now it looks okay. Alright. Overheating again. Okay. Okay. We're still drifting up like this. The power of the boosters. Okay. See, okay. that one time we got the best fairing separation in KSP2. Just that one time. Is that our dual pair? I bet it's the rover's dual periapsis or something. The thing is, we can't adjust the location of our burn at the same time as seeing what's happening over at Jewel. Okay, that's not helping. Okay, let's just do mid-course correction. That's the wrong one. But of course, we're going to launch other stuff before we get around to correcting this. Well, that's Lathe doing something. Whoa. Okay, well... I'm not feeling like it's going to help capture us. And you know what? We don't need its help. We've got the tuba to do it. Do it. It should have plenty. We're gonna end up with five degrees of inclination. Might as well have it right at the periapsis. Okay, so that'll be our mid-course correction with this. But it's all good. Okay, that's the other stage. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how it works. Okay. Now, the tough stuff. The plane. We'll just have an identical one for now. It's a base 2. And we want to adjust the landing gear so it's less bouncy. Yeah. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Okay, I think just the landing gear is what I'm going to change about this and we're going to try it again. Hopefully we can get there safely. Mm, it sort of worked. It was pretty tight though. It was pretty tight. Okay. Still rocking the one launch clamp.
Okay, we're past the speed of sound and haven't flipped yet. <laughs> I don't care that we're going a little bit off to the side. Not gonna fix that. It definitely doesn't have 711 there. It's lying again. See? Okay. Let's just go. Nine hundred and twenty-seven is not much. Now oh, come on, if you were messing with the other one, Tylo. Well, if only it was a little bit earlier. He wants to encounter Tylo over there and Leaf over there. Neither of these things is a good idea. Well, maybe instead of doing prograde, we can do radial to time it differently. Not instead of, but in addition to. Well, that's a more interesting place to encounter Tylo. If it's really before Jewel Periapsis. Oh, there's a Val Periapsis now? Come on. Now that's capturing us. Not super low right now though. Okay, uh, well, okay, not crashing into Tylo. Okay, Tylo Periapsis 99. Uh, that point is pretty close to Leif's orbit. So this is a good situation if we can get it. But it's touchy, as usual. So we'll do this mid-course correction with it. And so this is in 355 days. Let's go... Uh, well, we could probably just jump to the other vessel here. Okay. This is in 403 days, so we do the plane first. I focused on it. It still doesn't show the maneuver node when you focus on it. It always sort of leans to one side. It keeps wiggling to one side, so we're probably not accurate on that burn. But yeah, let's just replot that. Nope, we're supposed to be doing something with Tylo. Please. <laughs> Fine. Oh, doesn't seem to be capturing as low as before. Let's just try and do this. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know what? We'll fix it when we get there. This is just too touchy. All right. So this is done. We have to go over to the station and fix that up. So, okay. Now, I can't plot right now, but that's definitely nice and close for a capture. And this should have plenty of Delta V to do it. <laughs> 